How are you guys doing? My name is Anthony Ciappone. I'm with Shower Professional. Today I'm going to be talking with you guys about pixel mapping products and the various types that you're going to find in the market. Um, generally speaking, you have two types of products. You have your uh, dedicated pixel products. So those are going to be um, products behind me, very similar to the um, pixel strips. And then you have your LED pixel tape. Um, Alternately, you have other products on the market. They're going to be multifunction products. These multifunction products are going to be uh, staples. They're going to be generally washes or battens, but a lot of the manufacturers will build in a secondary function to the products that allow you to use them as a pixel mapping product. It gives you discrete control over each different LED, allowing you to control uh, sweeping patterns across them. You're going to be able to run these from a lighting desk or from a pixel mapping software. Um, let's go ahead and look at the pros and cons of each one. So let's start off by looking at the dedicated pixel products. Um, we have three examples here to show you of that product category. Um, behind me on my left, we have the Epix Strip Tour. This has that black stealth diffuse filter. We have the Epix Strip IP. This has that white milky filter. And on the bottom here, we have the Epix Flex 20. This guy right here is an open look. Uh, one of the things you'll notice between all three of these is that you're gonna get really good direct view. These are operating at 100% intensities right now, um, and it's not gonna be glaring on the eyes. Um, some of the other pros that you're gonna find in this product category, um, the manufacturer is generally gonna offer uh, alignment hardware with the products. Um, because of the low power consumption, it's gonna be lightweight, a little easier to mount, um, and that's pretty much the pros of these. Let's look at some of the cons, though. Um, because these are going to be specialized products, these aren't going to be as common in your rental inventories. Um, so you're going to have limited options about who you're going to be able to rent these for for different events. Let's go ahead and look at the multifunction pixel mapping products that we have here. Um, right here we have the Colorado Solo Batten. To the left we have the Colored Ash Batten Quad 6. And to the far left we have the Maverick MK3 Wash. All right, so there's three different advantages to these, and I'm going to go over them in a little bit. Um, let's look at the pros. Um, initially, you can use these first two. Actually, you can use all three of these as multifunction. So you're going to be able to find these in rental houses because they're wall washes and they're general stage washes. So they're going to be available um, in your local rental house. So that's one of the, the pros right there. Um, another pro is that it's not a one-trick pony. You can go ahead and operate this in a low-intensity mode like I have running here, where you can crank up the power and you can really get some blinding effects out of these and you can get some general nice smooth wall washes out of these. Um, let's look at some of the cons. Um, because you're actually taking the intensity of these and you're looking directly at it, you want to drop that brightness down heavily. So you're generally going to be operating these at well under 30 or 40 percent intensity. When you have an 8-bit fixture, that's going to result in some steppiness of the dimming. All right, if you have a 16-bit uh, fixture, then you're not going to have that problem as widely. A lot of manufacturers will integrate uh, dimming modes inside the fixtures that will help you compensate for that. These two guys right here um, are going to be able to operate on a single uh, mode. They're only going to be able to give you uh, DMX for the center guy there. Um, and for this one right here, it's going to give you DMX, Artnet, or SACN at a time. You're not going to be able to use dual modes for it. Um, that guy over there is going to give you dual modes. That's going to give you uh, separate control over the LEDs, which you may want to put on the pixel mapping software. Um, and the base, which is your pan and tilt and your zoom, that can be used on another controller as well, generally on your lighting desk. Um, one of the advantages of that mode, if you have a fixture with dual modes, you can have uh, all of your LEDs when you're pixel mapping match your video server software. Um, but if you want to override that, you can take control of your LEDs from the lighting console and use it as a general wash when you feel fit, when you think that it's relevant. Um, some of the disadvantages of uh, sec uh, as two mode fixtures, um, you're not always going to have pixel pitch maintenance between them. So if you take two buttons and you butt them up against each other, you may have a little bit of a gap between them. That's going to be one of the things that you do have as an advantage on your dedicated pixel products is because the power of the LEDs is a lot lower when you butt them up against each other, you're not going to see that gap. If you're standing a bit away, 
You know, if you're in a, a big venue, uh, you know, 25 to 50 feet away viewing distance, that's not going to be an issue. If you're in a smaller uh, venue, that may be something that you want to take into consideration. So I've shown you two different types of products here. Dedicated pixel mapping products with lower intensities, so they're good for the direct view, and multifunction products with higher intensities. Um, one of the things to consider when you're mixing and matching these two different types of products, you're going to need to take careful consideration to matching your different intensities. One of the things I did here is I put all of our pixel uh, products on 100% intensity, and then I took all of our multifunction products and I put them on, uh, I put them on uh, intensity faders, uh, intensity inhibitor faders. So I can actually adjust each of the intensity of all the lights live. Um, this is going to be something really helpful and something you should definitely take into consideration for each of your events. Uh, thanks for uh, spending some time talking to us about this. My name is Anthony Ciappone with Showery Professional. See you next time.